Coverage you can count on. This is KCBD News Channel 11 at 10. Can I ask you something? Wait a minute. This is my meeting. This is my meeting, not your meeting. So well, this is a question and answer session. <laughs> Some tense moments that a town hall residence hosted tonight in New Home. They're concerned about where their tax money could go. Good evening and to thank you for joining us. Those residents will vote on a $23 million bond soon, which would support renovations and expansion at the Lynn County Hospital District. Some taxpayers at the meeting say they were told about the bond too little, too late. KCBD News Channel 11's Brittany Crittenden was at the town hall and has the discussion. Why are we up here expected to pay for services and token that we're just not going to utilize? New home residents had questions for the CEO and the board president at the Lynn County Health Care System. Its hospital district is asking voters to pass a $23 million bond to build a new ER, a fast track clinic, and pay for renovations throughout the hospital in Tohoka. Several mentioned that instead of driving to Tohoka for medical care, many drive into Lubbock. Everybody can have their own opinion, I get that, but when you start, when your opinion dictates the livelihood and the safety of others, um, I don't know how you look at yourself at night to think that there is a life out there that's worth not saving or having health care. The bond would raise the tax rate from about 26 cents per hundred dollars valuation to 41 cents per hundred dollars valuation. While there were rumors that some residents wanted to create a petition to see the district dissolve, Randy Brackett says that's not what she wants. You know, obviously, like, we want health care, and, you know, Lynn County's position is health care closer to home. That's not the, that's not the anything that anybody's against. It's just the dollar amount and the term, you know, $23 million is a lot of money. And then we look at paying that over 40 years. We're signing our children up for debt to pay for a hospital renovation. The hospital was built in 1971 and CEO Melanie Richburg says it needs electrical and plumbing upgrades. She says the majority of rooms are double occupancy, but the bond money could help change that. We are going to have to do something to this hospital if we're going to continue to operate it. Resident Rudy Ritz says he didn't hear about the bond election until it was too late. You know, I consider myself to be very informed as a voter, whether it's on the local level or up to the federal level. And this was news to me. Normally I keep up with local county elections. Uh, and so this was a surprise that there was limited communication and uh, the communication channels that are out there and available, it didn't seem like they were used. Richburg says the hospital tried to spread the message as best as it could. So we had town hall meetings, we advertised them, um, on social media, in the newspaper, on our website, uh, word of mouth as much as we could. Residents decided to host their own town hall so they could ask questions like this one. Why can we not have a voting location here? Richburg says in the past the hospital has used the local county clerk for elections. This year they asked her for advice and she told them she's been having trouble finding workers in outlying towns in the county. So the only polling location will be inside the hospital's business office. The people that have never been here, they would get to see what we're actually asking for and knowing that the it would be said that it's going to be difficult and um, it is. It's going to be as difficult for the people in O'Donnell and Wilson as it is for the ones in New Home. Richburg says if the vote passes, construction is set to start at the beginning of the year and will take about two years. Early voting starts on the 22nd and election day is May 4th. Brittany Crittenden, KCBD News Channel 11.